Live from the Multi-GP Headquarters, this is Multi-GP News. Today on Multi-GP News, it's a hot topic among the FPV community, reverse props. Here's some of the surprising advantages some say it offers. Also, a full recap of nine regional qualifiers, plus all the lucky pilots who moved on to the finals. What's up, everyone? I'm Chris Thomas. And I'm Frank Real Life Manage. All this and much more coming up. Welcome back, everyone. Due to some recent budget cuts, we've had to get rid of some of the desks. We can't afford their upkeep and maintenance. So, yeah, we're standing. Uh, it's different, but, you know, here's what really happened. Over 100 of you recently filled out our survey, uh, giving us a few suggestions of what you'd like to see on the MultiGP News. So we decided to take a few of your ideas and incorporate them into our show. So we're now condensing the two shows into one show. We're going to keep it short and sweet. Our show will post every Sunday on our MultiGP YouTube channel. Remember, one show every Sunday. With that being said, let's get started with our top stories in this week's Morning Quad. Now, with several big events coming up, like the International Open and the National Championship, many pilots may be thinking how they can secure good video quality, especially when racing with a large group of other pilots at an event. So let me give you a few of these tips. I've made some videos about this in the past. First of all, transmission power. The idea that more power will push your signal through barriers is a myth. It doesn't work like that. If you're going to race with other people, you should be using a 25 milliwatt transmitter. Uh, and on your ground station, you should have directional antennas pointed at that. The second tip is to place the pilots far away from the aircraft at all times. Think about a, a drone. Let's say I had one here in my hand. The closer I get it to a receiver, the more likely its power is to overwhelm that receiver. So even if I'm on a different channel, it may interfere with another channel the closer that I get. So if you keep the quads far away, things work really well. And as you may have already heard, reversing your props has a number of advantages. Uh, some of those things are, you know, keeping dirt off your lens. So when you reverse your props and you hit the ground, uh, or even if you just skim the ground, you won't get all that blowback onto your lens and get a super dirty lens and then not be able to finish the race. It also uh, makes you cooler than the guys who haven't reversed their props yet, <laughs> yeah. right? Or you could just mess with somebody and change their prop to reverse props right before the race and then not a real big problem. <laughs> Um, another thing that it does for you is uh, helps you bounce off the gates a little bit. You know, right. a lot of times when we're racing, we end up clipping the kind gate. Of push through. That, right, right. Exactly. Push through the gate. Exactly. Instead of instead of trapping you in the gate, you get pushed out of the gate. Um, it it helps with some oscillations because the air is getting pushed out as well it, hmm. as opposed to getting pushed in. So it might help you tune your quad up a little bit, and uh, it helps you know keep your motors a little bit uh, cooler and not run as hot. So uh, it's a good good thing to uh, try out if you have the ability to do it and your flight controller yeah. can do it. You should check it out because a lot of a lot of the big pilots are doing it now and they're really loving it. So, and Brian Morris will respect you. So <laughs> that alone is just the reason to do it. This 6 is a little bit different because it's the first time we've gone from outside of the Multi GP team, and we asked Sean Taylor to create this track. Um, it's pretty awesome. I, I, I think that you're going to enjoy to see UTP7, and this may be a new theme for us coming up. Uh, but now before we move on to the regional series update, we'd like to take a second to recognize our featured chapter for next week. The EcoWorld Malaysia team hosted the MultiGP Eco Ardents Drone Prix last month. Tune in next week for a full breakdown of that epic race and make sure to check out some of their professional coverage videos on Facebook. Um, they are killing it out there. It's really great to see these new communities sprouting up around the world uh, all based around drone racing. Yeah, so. Malaysia, man, that's that's out there too. And uh, and if you haven't, make sure you go out and check them out, subscribe to their channel because you know they're they're putting a lot of work into it. They're representing Multi GP, and you got uh, it. they have great production. So you know they deserve it. We appreciate it. what you're doing out there, guys. Mad respect. We like what you're doing. Love the Lotus too. That was a great touch. Welcome back, everyone. It's time for the 2017 Regional Series update. Last week, we covered Central Illinois Drone Racers 3B Qualifier, where 20 pilots battled it out and 13 moved on to the finals. This week, nine other qualifiers wrapping up from the Golden State all the way down to North Dakota. MultiGP News has a full breakdown of all the racing action. What an epic time for racing as nine regional qualifiers wrapped up last weekend. We start off in Kansas City, Missouri, where KC Multirotor kicked off their qualifier in Region 3A. 
816 Drones, Team Black Sheep, DWS Hobbies, and Sigma Rama all sponsoring the event, where up to 36 pilots gathered to race for their chance at the finals. Some pilots even traveled up to 90 miles to compete. The weather was great, sunny and warm with little to no wind. The chapter's new TDS tracker ran smoothly and efficiently where pilots were able to quickly complete rounds. The track ran through a double gate U-turn into an over-under section into the flax wallum, then an over-under gate into the broken down palace of a tower, in and out back to the start and finish. After several heats, seven pilots moving on to the finals, here are those pilots. Meanwhile, the STL Gateway Crashers were also hosting a qualifier in Missouri. Some of the challenges were designing a course for pilots that fly so fast. The course had an easy final turn and straightaway that could easily drain batteries. This forced pilots to manage their battery usage throughout the race. On the last round of the day, many pilots went all out and ended up nursing their quads around the course on their last lap, praying that the ESCs would not cut out due to low voltage. And at the end of several rounds, seven pilots moving on to the finals. Here are those pilots. Now moving on to Alabama, the rocket capital of the world, Rocket City FPV Racing, hosting their qualifier in Region 2A. It was very fast paced and there were only a couple of reset restarts. There were some very tight and fast competition. In the end, three laps separated the winner from third place. RCRC is one of the only AMA fields in the country to have a permanent multi-rotor racing area, complete with covered pit race gates, seating, work areas, and much more. After several close rounds, five pilots moved on to the finals. Here are those pilots. Now moving up to the Beehive State, Utah Drone Racing held their qualifier with 26 pilots competing, some driving out from Idaho and Colorado. Thrust UAV, Multi-Rotor Mania, Rebel Mini Quads, and IDC sponsoring the event. Rotor Riot also giving out stickers for some of the prize bags. Now the weather was definitely a challenge for pilots as temperatures rise as high as 100 degrees during the race. There were some high winds during the practice rounds but died down for the actual race. After a long day of relentless sun and competition, eight pilots moving on to the finals. Here are those pilots. Now going down to Houston, H Squadron hosted their qualifier in Region 4A. Some pilots traveled three hours for a chance to race. The event, sponsored by Two Dog RC's RC Warehouse, Atmospheric Adventures, Turbo Mock Drone Technologies, PB3 Creations, and Pretty Fly FPV. The weather was fantastic, incredibly hot and humid, but there was a slight breeze and clear skies. The biggest challenge for organizers was putting this event together in only a month since the original group who was set to host the event backed out. All in all, the race turned out incredibly well. The most rewarding part of the whole event was having everyone come out from all over the state to be a part of the 4A qualifier. At the end of the day, five pilots moved on to the finals. Here are those pilots.
finally Sacramento FPV holding their qualifier where 35 pilots flew 7 rounds with 49 heats after several rounds 7 pilots made it to the finals. Here are those pilots. For all your updated regional series information and a list of upcoming qualifiers or finals, head to MultiGP.com and click on the Championship Drone Racing tab up at the top. And when we come back, drone crashes, drone fails, and drone falling out of the sky. Some of the wildest quad collisions that will definitely have you screaming for more. Stick around. Welcome back everyone. Last week we had a great turnout after a slew of pilots flooded our Facebook post with their most jaw-clenching crashes for our segment. I enjoyed it uh, immensely this week. I sat down with my coffee on the couch, actually this morning, and uh, watched it. It was great. My kids liked it too. It's a lot of fun. Some good crashes and uh, it was a really nice compilation. And we, we thank everybody bringing in those videos. Yeah, keep crashing. Keep crashing. Sponsors <laughs> really like it. It makes you better when you crash. There you go. <laughs> So this week there's even more. We're swarmed with even more outrageous crashes. You roll it. It's exciting when that disconnect happens when you crash. You know, you're in it 100% and boom, you take the goggles off and, and realize, oh, I'm alive. <laughs> the machine that I just was is hurt, but I'm not hurt. Uh, now, if you would like your crash featured on an upcoming episode, email your videos to news at multigp.com. That's all the time we have for this episode of MultiGP News. Remember, we will post one satisfying show packed with upcoming events, race recaps, and much more every Sunday on our MultiGP YouTube channel. Also, if you haven't purchased your tickets to the International Open yet, what's wrong with you? Are you bummed because you missed the early bird special? Well, that's okay. I will cover 20% of your ticket right now. Just log on to eventbrite.com and type in the promo code listed on your screen. Purchase your ticket and save today. That's really nice of you, man. 20%? Yeah, 20%. That's, that's yeah. a good deal right uh, there. I just went into Eventbrite and typed it in. But yeah, it's saving <laughs> you money. Uh, we also really are looking for volunteers. So if you want to help us make this event as amazing as it can be, we need your help as a volunteer. Either you know commit to help us set up the course or take it down or through the event, commit to some sessions. You're going to get uh, entered into special raffles that are for volunteers only. We, we like to take a lot of the prizes and raffle them off to the volunteers because these are the people who make these events possible. You're also going to get a, a special shirt that will only be given to volunteers. You will not be able to purchase it in their store. It is for volunteers only. So you'll notice that guys are running around wearing these red multi-GP shirts. They did not buy them. They earned them. So this could be your chance to do that. And finally, we're aiming to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So remember to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon on your YouTube channel. So you'll never miss an update from us. Thanks for watching. I'm Frank Vanden. And I'm Chris Thomas. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, press the like button below and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in being showcased in the next episode of MultiGP News, please contact us at news at multigp.com.